Good morning everybody, this is Stephen Pugh of the Home Bible College. It's March the 16th and we're looking at the first chapter of the book of Joshua. Now, <clears throat> the first passage, Joshua is commissioned and appointed to be the leader after the death of Moses. The Lord speaks to Moses, the Lord speaks to Joshua and says, Moses, my servant is dead. Now therefore arise, go over this Jordan, thou and all the people into the land which I will give thee, even the children of Israel. And the Lord promises amazing things. He says, every place that the sole of your foot shall tread upon, have I given you as I said unto Moses. Now this is a past statement. He says, Every place that the sole of your foot shall tread upon, that I have given you. Now, it, because it's, it's still a future prospect, but because it's in the past tense, it means that it is an absolute certainty. There is no doubt whatsoever that this is going to happen. And the Lord outlines the territory. It will be from the wilderness of Lebanon unto the great sea, to the river Euphrates and all the land of the Hittites, unto the great sea, uh, toward the going down of the sun, shall be your coast. So all of the land that um, Israel will possess in the millennial kingdom is the land that's given to Israel. Um, <clears throat> Um, the Lord promises, he says, There shall not any man be able to stand before thee all the days of thy life. And as I was with Moses, so I will be with thee. I will not fail thee, nor forsake thee. Be strong and of a good courage. For unto this people shall I divide for inheritance the land which I swear unto the fathers to give them. Only be thou strong and very courageous that you may observe to do all that is according to the law which Moses my servant commanded thee turn not from the right or to the left that thou mayest prosper wherein thou goest and the Lord hands him a book of the uh, first five books of the Bible the and he says this book of the law shall not depart out of thy mouth but thou shalt meditate therein day and night, that thou mayest observe to do all that is written therein, for then thou shalt make thy way prosperous, and then thou shalt have good success. Have I not commanded thee? So you see, it's in the past tense. The Lord promises certain blessing, certain victory without any doubt he says be strong and of a good courage be not afraid neither be thou dismayed for the Lord thy God is with thee whithersoever thou goest now <clears throat> three times the Lord has said to Joshua be strong and of good courage be strong and of good courage now the reason why the Lord is saying this is because Joshua in himself feels weak he feels himself to be weak and he feels himself to be afraid and so the message of the Lord at this moment in Joshua's life is be strong <clears throat> and have good courage and uh, the Lord tells him that he's good to go amongst the people and he's to tell them to prepare food for within three days they're going to pass over Jordan they're going to possess all the land OK, um, <clears throat> and the people answer to Joshua, they say, all that thou commands us, we will do. And wherever you send us, we will go according as we listen to Moses in all things. So we will hearken unto thee. Only the Lord thy God be with thee as he was with Moses. Now this is what was said once before, sadly. This was said at the, 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 the mountain when they entered into the old covenant. They said, all that the Lord says unto us, we will do. And then they made a golden calf. But this is a new generation. The, that generation perished in the wilderness. This is a new generation. And they are making promises that it does appear that they will keep them. Um, and but they say to Joshua, they say only 
be strong and of a good courage you see they recognized in joshua a man who in himself was weak and a man who in himself was afraid but they said to him be strong joshua and of a good courage so they were encouraging him <coughs> in setting on out on this great this great journey they knew that the they knew that the journey they knew that the thing that the lord was asking joshua to do to lead the children of israel into battle to conquer the whole of the land of israel they knew that joshua in himself was unable to do it you know this is something of the secret of the christian life you are unable to live the christian life and the sooner you realize it the better okay you are in yourself weak and you are in yourself afraid if you're not afraid then you're not understanding what the battle is now then in yourself you're weak and in yourself you're afraid you see the enormity of the task that the lord has called you to perform now then you can't do it you can't do it the lord says i will do it but i'll do it through you you can't conquer the land but the lord says be strong because i will strengthen you and be of a good courage because there is nothing to fear because i am going to be with you <clears throat> then joshua the son of nun sent out two men to spy the land now he didn't send out 12 like they did last time because 10 of them came back with a false report they came back with a report of cowardice they came back with a report of unbelief and that caused the children of israel to have to wander for 40 years <laughs> he sends out two spies and they go into the city of jericho but everybody in the city of jericho seems to know that they've come and so the king of Jer jericho he sends a message to rahab the harlot and he says two men have come to your house i want you to bring them out to me so that i can kill them and she takes the two men and she hides them and she hides them under the stalks of flax on the roof that are in the in the sun to dry or in the sun to preserve them and when the men come looking for when the soldiers come looking for the two spies we don't know what the two spies were called when the two men come looking for the two spies she says oh just just before the city gate was shut they slipped out into the darkness if you if you hurry quickly you'll you'll overcome them so off they go and these these soldiers are distracted by rahab she's hidden them under flax and when the soldiers are long gone and the morning comes she says to them she says to them it's time for you to leave and she lets them down through a court from a from a rope from the city wall because her house is on the city wall she, and, and the wall is probably a palisade not a not, not stone she lets them down from the city wall and she says go into the mountain for three days and then when all the soldiers have stopped looking for you then you can go home back to the children of israel but she gives this long speech in from verse 9 right the way down to verse 13 <clears throat> in which she says exactly what has happened she says i know that the lord has given you the land because the terror of you has fallen upon us and all the inhabitants of the land are faint because of you you see the contrast the contrast is between um the fainting of the people of the land and the courage of those who are going to enter the land you see they have courage because they believe in god but the people that faint are those that don't believe in god and she says we heard how the lord dried up the waters of the red sea when you came out of egypt and how you destroyed the two kings of the amorites on the other side of jordan as sihon and og who, who you utterly destroyed and as soon as we heard these things our heart did melt 
neither did there remain um, any courage in any man you see the whole of the of the city of Jericho were just completely exhausted and frightened by the children of Israel <clears throat> He says we know that the Lord is your God and he is the God of heaven above you see right through the Bible the Gentiles always referred to Jehovah as the God of heaven but she says he is the God of heaven above and of earth beneath now therefore I pray swear by me by the Lord since I have showed you kindness that you will show kindness to my father's house and you will save us all alive all the children all my brothers and sisters and the men say to her our life for yours if you will keep your word then leave this cord in the window and he, they give to her a scarlet thread and she hangs this scarlet thread in the window and we, when we come to conquer the city if we see the scarlet thread then everybody within the in the house will be saved and that's exactly what they do <clears throat> you'll notice when the children of Israel came out of Egypt they put blood upon the doorposts and upon the lintel well on this a case it's not going to be blood it's going to be a scarlet thread and uh, <clears throat> they say unto Joshua Truly the Lord hath delivered her into the hands all the land and all the inhabitants of the country do faint because of us. This was the report that the spies brought back. They said the whole country are frightened of us and they're fainting out of fear. So you see the contrast between the courage of the children of Israel and of Joshua and the fainting of the inhabitants of the land and Joshua rose early in the morning and removed to Shittim and came to Jordan and all the children of Israel lodged there before they passed over and, and after three days the officers went through the host and they commanded the people saying when you see the ark of the covenant of the Lord your God and the priests and the Levites bearing it you shall remove from your place and you shall follow it but there will be a space between you and it of about 2,000 cubits by measure. Do not come near to it, that you may know the way whereby you will go. You see, there was something like about um, three, sorry, uh, two thirds of a mile distance between the ark and the children of Israel. They were not to approach too near to the ark <clears throat> and the Lord said to Joshua this day I will magnify you in the sight of all the people as I was with Moses so I will be with you and what the Lord did in, and the Lord promised to Joshua that he would conquer the he would conquer the seven nations of the land the Canaanites the Hittites the Hivites the Perizzites the Girgashites the Amorites and the Je Jebusites this is about this is about the conquering of the seven nations. These nations were ripe for the judgment of God. This wasn't just Israel annihilating everybody. This, this was the sword of the Lord. And he was going to judge these nations because they were so exceedingly wicked before the Lord. The Jews reckoned that the book of Joshua, though it was history, it was nevertheless also prophetic because the Lord Jesus when he comes he will come and he will conquer the seven nations that will oppose Israel there are seven nations that oppose Israel today he will utterly destroy them and he tells them it tells the children of Israel he says select one man out of each of the tribes and when when the waters are stopped in the river Jordan they're to go into the water and they're to take a rock out of the bed of the river and to bring it to the side and to set up a memorial to the Lord this will be a ten, this will be a 12 stone memorial to the Lord and uh, the Lord will now, now some people say oh well the, the Jordan had gone down to just a trickle <laughs> no 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 not at all if you read the passage carefully it says for Jordan overflowed all the banks at the time of harvest you see this was a river in flood 
this was a river in flood and the waters which came down from Galilee they stood in a heap imagine that imagine water standing in a heap of course we see row we see water standing in a heap all the time with gla with glaciers and with icebergs that's how water can stand in a heap it's no difficulty no problem and all the water that was in the river just drained away so that they were able to pass over but they only found that that happened when the priests moved forward and they put their feet into the waters of the Jordan and when they put their feet into the waters of the Jordan the water stopped and the water piled up in a heap high up the valley but the water beneath their feet drained away what an amazing thing absolutely fantastic I'm gonna love Joshua as I always do I'm gonna love the historical books that we go through next at uh, my password for today be strong and very courageous what a word from the Lord God bless you all great to speak to you and look forward to speaking to you again tomorrow bye for now